What is y'all boys? It is LeBron James Vegas. We're gonna get another video. Just some reaction to SMM movie. Broken guy's ear problem. <laughs> this is gonna be amazing. I already tell the original video. Don't scroll up for the news. Get right to us. Get it, you. Come on, come oh, on. I don't care about Vincent Van Gogh's ear. Hurry up and go to the next one. Boy, hey, what you doing? I'm watching this online ear auction. I'm trying to buy Evander Holyfield's ear that might ear auction. Ew, buddy, that's disgusting. Yeah. Why are you gonna buy Someone bit off. Because nobody else has it and I want it. Shh, it's coming up. All right, for our next item up to auction, we have huh? Evan de Holyfield's right ear yeah. that was bitten on by Mike Tyson. And no, to verify the authenticity Tyson. of said ear, we have the Mr. Evan de Holyfield. So, Mr. Holyfield, this is your ear, correct? Oh, oh what's that? This ear is your <laughs> ear, correct? Uh, repeat it again. The ear on the table the is, in fact, the ear that Mike Tyson bit off of you. Hey, hey let's switch seats. I can hear you. Yes. Like, I can hear you on the table. Please. My apologies, sir. <clears throat> Why did you so, Mr. Mr. Holyfield, yeah. everyone wants to know, is this your ear? Oh, yeah, yeah. That's my ear right there. Yes. And why are you selling said ear? <laughs> you know the bills do. <laughs> it's the rent, you know. I gotta pay it. You heard it here first, Bro. folks. Evan the Holyfield needs to pay his rent. <laughs> So let's start the bidding at one thousand dollars. Do I hear a thousand dollars? Thousand going once, a thousand going twice. Nothing. No. Okay. How about five hundred dollars? Anyone for five hundred dollars? Bid on it, Boiny. Five hundred is too much. I can right. get more. You yes. on the back, sir? Lower. But you're just getting up to use the bathroom. <laughs> Understood. <laughs> Maybe a hundred dollars. Do I hear a hundred dollars? I get your ear in with it. Come on. A hundred dollars? I'm buying it. A hundred dollars. Uh, I've just been notified that someone from the online auction has bought the ear for one hundred dollars. Hey, congrats! Congrats! Come on, come on. Got mm. scammed. Yes. yes, I won. I won the ear Mike Tyson bit off. Yes. Boy, what are you gonna do when you get your bitten off the ear? Well, I'm gonna put it in my wallet and carry it around with me wherever I go. And whenever I meet people, I'm gonna say, "Hey, you know that ear Mike Tyson bit off? I have it." And they're yeah. gonna say, "Uh-uh." And then I'm gonna whip it out and show them, and they're gonna think I'm cool. But how oh. are they gonna know it was really his ear? It comes with with a certificate of ear authenticity. Well, when does it get ear? ear? Well, it gets <laughs> ear tomorrow because they're doing overnight it's shipping. Ear. It's coming from Las Vegas. Oh, let's go to bed. I can't wait to get my ear. Oh, Karen, I'm so excited. I'm not going to count sheep while I sleep. I'm going to count ears. One ear, two ears. Boyney, I know you're not sleeping. Your eyes are still open. Right. I know. That's how excited I am. Boyney, you want to fool around? Oh. Only if I can do it in your ear. Boyney, that's icky. I know. I'm going to sleep. Oh. It's morning, Karen! Blighty, it's too early for this! I'm gonna go track my package! Oh, I can't wait to see what time my ear gets delivered! What? Bro. Package destroyed. destroyed! What? Destroyed? Who destroyed Boy, it? What's wrong? I'm on the UPS website and it says my package was destroyed! What? I don't know, let me check the news! Breaking news! <laughs> Breaking news, okay? A UPS plane has crashed into a children's hospital, no. destroying all the packages, and killing hundreds of people. What? Oh, come oh. on! Are you kidding me? Oh, I can't believe my luck! I know, Boiny! It's awful! All those children are dead! Oh, my package is gone! Oh, Boiny, that's it! children! I'm suffering, Karen! I'm the one whose package got destroyed! Oh, why does God hate me? Why does he make this happen to me? Stop being so selfish! Boiny. Karen, that was Evander Holyfield's only ear that got bitten off. It was irreplaceable. Ear. How on earth could this have happened? <laughs> Cut it out with the puns, Boiny. It's Please. not a joke. No, I know it's not a joke, Karen. I know people died, but you can always make more kids. You can't make more of Evander Holyfield's ear that got bitten off. You could do that one more time, but I bet he's not going to do it. I don't care if he and Mike Tyson are friends now. He's not going to let him bite the other one off. Cut Ooh. it out, Boiny. No, no, I'm going to go to the auction house and I'm going to say, how are you going to make this right? I need you to make Mike Tyson bite the Vander Holyfield's other ear off and spit it out into my hand. That's the only way. No! no I'm gonna go there and tell him. No! Order! 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 order. <laughs> Bro! Yeah. Well, in any case, I am the Honorable Judge Just Ford. And today we will be hearing the case of Brooklyn Guy, who is demanding to get a Vander Holyfield's other ear demanding. because the one he purchased was destroyed in a plane crash. Brooklyn Guy, explain what's going on. 
So I purchased Evander Holyfield's ear that Mike Tyson bit off for $100 in an auction. Yes. And I was really excited to finally get the ear so I could show it off to my friends. And then BAM! The plane carrying the ear crashes and the ear gets destroyed. It was one of a kind. So now they owe me Evander Holyfield's other ear and I want Mike Tyson to bite it off and spit it into my hand. <sighs> Very interesting. Mr. Auction House Man, what have you to say about this? Well, it wasn't the auction house's fault that UPS crashed their plane. True. It should be their job to get him a new holy filled ear. Hmm. Kinda true. Yes, that does make sense that yes. it is UPS's fault that their plane crashed. Yes. So, Brooklyn guy, couldn't you just sue UPS for a hundred dollar refund for the ear? I don't want a refund. I want Evander Holyfield's ear that was bitten off by Mike Tyson. It was worth way more than a hundred dollars to me. It was priceless. priceless. They owe me Evander Holyfield's other ear, and I want you to make Mike Tyson bite it off and spit it into my ear. Well, I don't really have the power to force Mike Tyson to bite Evander Holyfield's yes. other ear off. Right. But I suppose I could give you a 24-hour pass to go bite it off. Wait, me? A I pass? could bite his other ear off? Yes, you have 24 hours to go bite Evander Holyfield's ear what off without it being considered a crime. But after that 24-hour period, it will become a crime. So you better go. Bite his ear off. <laughs> Thank you, Your Honor! No. No. Where is he? No, 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 no. Hey, Marvin. I liked it better when you would knock before you came in my house. Thank it's really you. important this time. Ooh, I really do like your hair, though. Thank you. You look good. No, well, I don't feel good. Did you see on the news <laughs> about the UPS plane that crashed into that children's hospital? Yes. I know. That was so sad. Wait, you feel bad because you knew my package was on that plane? Oh, I didn't think no. about that. No. Well, Children. More considerate. A lot of people died. Yeah, whatever. But my package was no. one of a kind. It was irreplaceable. What was your package? Like a kitten or a puppy? No, it was a Vander Holyfield's ear that Mike Tyson bit off. You bought an ear that was bitten off? Yeah, for a hundred bucks. It was a pretty good deal, actually. No! Okay, so why do you even care if it was only a hundred dollars? Because it's not about the money, Marvin. It's about the ear. And the judge the says, ear. I have 24 hours to legally bite off Evander Holyfield's other ear. But won't he need that? Well, he didn't need the other one. He was auctioning it off. This whole situation sounded completely insane and stupid. Yes, I know, but I just you. came to you to see if you know where Evander Holyfield is. I don't know where that guy is. I don't even what? know what he does now. Right. Well, well maybe you could try calling his agent and asking his agent where he is. Ooh, see, Marvin, this is why I come to you. You have smart ideas. I'm gonna go get my phone. Okay, I googled his agent's phone number and I'm gonna call him. Okay. Hello, you've reached Steve Stamper, the talent agent. Uh, yes, do you represent Evander Holyfield? I do! Okay, so where is he? Well, I can't disclose that kind of information unless it's for business purposes. Thank you. Oh, it is. He owes me something. Oh, well, what's he owe you? <laughs> Let's just say it's an earful. Well, what is it? In my mouth. What? What I'm gonna bite it? his ear off because the judge said I could. <laughs> Hello? Hey, Hello? Hello? Oh, <laughs> well, maybe because the way you approach the situation. Yeah, Thank I probably you. shouldn't have said that. I wouldn't have said you were bite his ear off. Marvin, could you call him and see if you can find out where he is? <sighs> okay, no. I'll, I'll just see what I can do. Oh, my okay, God. it's ringing. Hello, you reached Steve Stamper, a talent agent. Uh, yes, you represent a Vander Holyfield, correct? <sighs> this isn't another prank call about biting his ear off again, is it's it? It's not we a get prank. All the time. No, no, no. This is a business opportunity for Mr. Holyfield. Oh, well, what is it? Well, we have an opportunity for him to go back into boxing. Oh, he loves doing that. Yeah, Mike Tyson wants a rematch. Oh, okay. No! So where is he so I can talk about this opportunity? He's at the Applebee's right now. Uh, okay, well, then we'll head that way. Okay, I'll let him know you're coming. Thank you. They said he's at Applebee's. Applebee's? Which Applebee's? The Applebee's. The Applebee's. Oh, the Applebee's, of the... course. Yeah, okay, I'll, I'll go over there There's and I'll thousands. dress up like a waiter and then bite his ear off. Oh! Hello, welcome to Applebee's. <laughs> what would you like to drink? <laughs> He can't Sir. hear. Sir. Oh, oh you, you were talking to me? Oh, I'm sorry. I could hey, you know, I'm missing the ear and all. <laughs> oh, I'm so sorry. W what would you like to drink? Hey there, I'm the district manager for Applebee's. Uh, you can go home. Really? Yeah, you're yeah. fired. Oh! <laughs> No. Hey there, Mr. Holyfield. Oh, you recognize me? <laughs> oh, you must be a fan of something. Yeah, I'm a big fan. You big want an fan. autograph? No, that's okay. Oh, okay. <laughs> well, what can I get you started with? Maybe an appetizer ear? Oh, uh, <laughs> uh, what you got, what you got? Uh, maybe, maybe an irresistible? Ear? Ooh, um, hmm. I ain't really in the text mesh room. Oh, uh, okay, well, what do you want? Mm. How about we go with a cheeseburger? Ooh, a cheeseburger yes. ear, good choice. Well, which one do you want? Take that's a good hard look. What you got, what you got? How about an impossible cheeseburger? Oh my gosh. Okay, yeah, yeah, impossible burger. I got you. I'll, I'll go put that in. Yeah, yeah. 
yeah, yeah. Okay, Mr. Holyfield, here's your cheeseburger uh, ear and your complimentary fries. All right, calm down, nigga. That's a lot of ear jokes. Right. Jeez. Just take a bite like Mike Tyson. <laughs> Whatever. Are, are you going to watch me eat? Right. Um, do you mind if I take a bite? They don't really feed us here. What? Uh, my burger? Y yeah. C can we, like, do it close to your face, though? Like, maybe we, like, Lady in the Trampet? Uh, no. no. Oh! He's biting him! Breaking news! Breaking news! <laughs> okay. An Apple Applebee's waiter. waiter has bitten off Evander Holyfield's other ear what the while fuck? eating dinner. He actually he did, did it. it. What the hell? Why would you uh, talk to him? I don't know. I just. <laughs> cool. Okay, well, that's. like Mike Tyson. That's disgusting! Well, you finally got it. Are you happy? No, because it's still not the ear Mike Tyson bit off. Oh, well, how my gosh. Know? You're right. Nobody would know. I could just say this is the ear Mike Tyson bit yes. off. Yes. But I don't have a certificate of oh ear authenticity. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> ear. <laughs> ah, no. Ah. <laughs> Ask some more question. What is your favorite restaurant, bro? I have so many favorite restaurants. But I'm never going to Applebee's again. <laughs> oh my gosh, this is freaking fire. Why would you... He did all of that just be... <laughs> Fucking guy is so stupid. Oh my gosh, this was freaking fire. I love SML, bro. They killed it once again, bro. If you enjoy my reaction, hit the like button. Subscribe to him if I'm new. And I will see you in the next video. Peace out, guys.